Hello, today we're going to talk about managing a workbook. So what I've got here is, except for the data, just your standard, this is what happens when you open Excel. You're greeted by a workbook, which is a collection of worksheets. In every version of Excel prior to 2013, you had three sheets by default. Now you just have one. And that's probably a change for the better, but it also doesn't matter a whole lot. Of course, by default, your sheet is always called Sheet 1, and that's never a good name. There's two ways to rename a sheet. The way that I always do it, because I kind of like to minimize my clicks, is I double click on the sheet tab. So notice this area down here, these are sheet tabs. If I double click, it becomes editable. And I call it good. And I, when I'm done, I can press enter or I can just click out of that area. Uh, the other way to rename a sheet is to right click on the sheet tab. Now right clicking on the sheet tab is useful because that's how you can do everything, including renaming it. Notice that takes me to where I was before. So we've got one sheet and it's got a name. Uh, another thing that's pretty common to do when you're in this whole idea of managing the sheet tabs is to give it a color. So you right click. That's the only way to set this tab color. It doesn't matter really what you pick. It doesn't show up so much until you click off of the sheet, which I'll show you in a minute. So to make this actually interesting, let's create a few more sheets. This plus button here is what you click to generate a new sheet. It's not the most intuitive thing. You click it once, you get sheet two. Click it again, you get sheet three. Also notice that now that green color is showing up. I'm going to click on sheet two, and I'm going to give it a better name. So I'm going to double click on it. Let's call it great. And let's click on the third one. How about a right click just to show you a different way? And grand, right? Now we're well, we renamed our sheets. While I'm at it, why don't I right click on those and give them some colors? Right, this is pretty trivial stuff, the kind of thing you could figure out on your own once you know where it is. Right, that's the hard part. So now you know how to name sheets, color sheets, and how to create new sheets. A couple other things, I'll show you why we are looking at it here. Something I like to do, because I'm a teacher and I like to make things hard, sometimes I'll hide a sheet. So you can right click on a sheet and you click on this hide button and then they go away. Which is kind of weird, it seems like it's completely gone. It's not completely gone. The only way that you can really detect that it's there is if you right click just down in this area, you get unhide. And so there's my grand sheet and there it is. Notice if I right click, there is no unhide. So in order for the unhide to show up, something has to be hidden. All right, so that's hiding, unhiding, creating, renaming, recoloring. The last thing that I will show you is copying sheets. Now I can't do this very well uh, just for sake of an example, but if you right click on a sheet, like good, you've got move or copy. If you click on this, you can see it's going to pop up a dialog box launcher. So notice this first option here saying, where do you want to put it? I am in book three, and so the default is to move it within the book. Do you notice if you ever want to make a copy? And I, in my experiences, you usually do want to make a copy, so you actually have to check that checkbox. But what I would like to show you is you have other options here. So you can take a sheet and copy it to another book or move it to another book. I'm just not going to do that because it would be weird in this video to be switching back and forth. Um, but I'm just going to do a copy. And notice you can also say where you want to put it. I'm going to put it at the end, right? And it has a cheesy name like good, two, let's say good, great, grand, and wonderful. Right, notice this sheet looks just like sheet one, it even has the same color, but it's a different sheet. Uh, why would you do that? Oh, I don't typically copy sheets within the same book, but I oftentimes copy them or move them to a new book. Now, one of the things that was kind of goofy is we specified where we wanted to go. Moving a sheet is really trivial. It's just a click and a drag. Let's say I want Graham to go second. I just click and I drag. So as soon as you kind of hold your mouse down on a sheet, you get that little black arrow which pops up like half a second later. And it's telling you where you want to put them, right? Good, great, grand, right? You just move them around. It's not difficult to do. That's why I think it's kind of silly that they kind of did this dialog box is partially dedicated to where you want to position the sheet, when in reality, it's pretty easy to reposition it manually. So that's everything I could possibly tell you about managing tabs and a workbook. So now you know. Thanks for watching.